sickle cell disease impacts more than 100,000 people in the United States. One in 13 black or African American babies are born with this sickle cell trait. Our Evan Lasik introduces us to one father who is pushing his limits to help everyone with the disease. Sickle cell anemia is a blood disease that affects people in certain ethnic groups and can cause a lot of pain. A lot of times when the blood's flowing through, those sickle cells will basically just stick together and clog up and cause severe pain, pain attacks, uh, cut off flow of circulation to your limbs or your organs, and one of the, the, one of the best treatments for that is to get a blood transfusion. James Harrison has three kids. Two have sickle cell. Last year, both his kids were in the hospital and needed a blood transfusion. In a moment where he thought he couldn't help, he had an idea. So I was just sitting here in my mind going a thousand miles a minute. But as I started uh, just thinking about it, I told my wife that, you know, every time they're sick, their body is going through something. And so I told her, you know what, I told her I'm going to put my body through something, you know, and I'm going to run the Knoxville Marathon. James is a member of Medic Regional Blood Center. He will be running the Knoxville Half Marathon in April to raise awareness for sickle cell as well as getting people to sign up as blood donors. Having blood on the shelf is always important, right? When you're dealing with genetic conditions like sickle cell or even other chronic illnesses, those antibodies that follow your blood type, the better we match that, the less complications you're going to have in the future. James set a goal of 10,000 new donors that he hopes to get by running the half marathon. Having a wide array of blood donations is important when trying to treat somebody with sickle cell. Having people that have, you know, a, a larger variety um, of eth ethnicities really helps us give the best treatment possible for the patients in our hospitals. In Knoxville, Evan Lasik, WVLT News. And if you'd like to sign up to be a blood donor as part of the One Dad Can program, you can find the link inside your WVLT News app.